There's a bed right here. Watch this. Boy, they're hitting mighty light. There's a fish. Today, we're at Beaver Lake and we're fly fishing. Most people look at that and say it's a bluegill. That is a green sunfish. That is not something you want in your farm pond. Take a look at his little ear, as you would call that. It's got a little orange tip on it a lot of times. Look at the, look at the fins, the orange tips on the fins. And again, the coloration on the side of the face. Green sunfish, not a desirable species. Today, we'll see how many different species we can find, but you do not, if you see that in your farm pond, you do not want those. That was a good little flop right there. It's a good fish, I do believe. And I'm saying kind of an orangish flash when I see that, it's my hope that that's gonna be a male, but what's not. Now here's what I'm looking at. Here's a big female full of eggs. See that? And look at the size of her belly. She has not released her eggs yet. So I'm gonna let her go, even though she's eating size. I'll let her lay her eggs. I'm gonna go for the big males that are nesting in that area. That's what I want right there. Oh, that's a great thing about this fly rod. See a big dark color already? That's a big male defending the nest. And that's what I'm looking for. That's payday. All right, let's talk about casting. It's all on the wrist. Now, when I say this, I'm serious about that. Look at this action. Straight up, hesitate, roll it out. Straight up, hesitate, roll it out. Now. There's more force there than you think when you pull it up. You gotta get it off the top of that water. Straight up, hesitate, roll it out. But it's all on the wrist. Then when the bug gets on the water, let it set a few seconds, see if they hit it. If not, give it a little twitch. And the thing about it is, if you're an impatient fisherman, if they're not in one spot, you move to the next. Straight up, hesitate, roll it out. And you get to use your bait over and over. There he is, I got him that time. Now the great thing about fly fishing, this time of year, there's a lot of fish that are, and I might have to baby him, that's a pretty good sized fish for a fly rod. <laughs> this may be a keeper bass, and he, I'm gonna have to baby him because it'll take him, he's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming up, he's probably gonna jump. That was probably about a three and a half pound bass. All right, now I've got some trees behind me, some bushes. So I'm gonna employ what we call a roll cast. If you've got a situation where you have something behind you, you create a loop in your line and roll it out. That keeps you from having to take you and extend your line way out behind you. I just missed a good fish. I'm gonna try to get back in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, look at this guy. Now you've seen the bluegill and you've seen the green sunfish. Look at this guy. He's kind of got an orange or yellow. Lots of blue markings all over his face. His opercle flap right there, his ear is kind of long and black. They don't get very big. Sometimes they're really bright orange during the mating season. That is a long ear sunfish. Not necessarily something you want in your pond either. Because they will compete with your bluegill, become way overpopulated, and you just don't want them. Probably hit this little cove right up here. There he is. Yeah. Nice one. Boy, he's as dark as he can be. Come on in here. We got plans for you. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, there's a grass carp. A huge grass carp. Now these are not Kentucky Lake size bluegill, but these are nice, catchable, edible bluegill. These are good fish anywhere though. Good eating size fish. It's exciting when you can actually see the fish come up to grab it. 
Oh, that's a good one. Tell you what, we hit it right. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll never forget my dad. When I was a kid, we would all be putting worms on and struggling with hooks, and he'd be swarping this thing around and catching fish after fish after fish. And of course, I was so in tune with my bobber and worms and all that, I didn't think much about it. I thought that was a, you know, something you had to do when you're much older. I couldn't have been more than six or seven years old. And I said, Dad, can you teach me to do that? And by golly, if he didn't put down what he was doing and spent a huge amount of time with me and gave me a lifetime of fun, and who knew that someday it would lead to a job. Nice one, nice one. Do you want to see what a Beaver Lake all-you-can-eat bluegill buffet looks like? It looks like that right there.